Hello and welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Marnell. Uh, we played with the polyurethane bags yesterday that I saved from packaging from my stickers and stuff while organizing my craft room. Uh, we made these yesterday and I wanted to see if I can sew on these and you can definitely sew uh, the plastic does not break or come apart and then the other thing I wanted to see was if uh, I don't know if you can see this if the acrylic splatters acrylic paint splatters will stick to the polyurethane and it absolutely does it just takes quite some time to dry um, so definitely try to dry them overnight. You obviously, because this is plastic, you cannot dry it with your heat gun. So this is the front of the bag. When, you know, you take your tag out or your journaling card, this will not, will show the splatters on the back. This is the bag that I accidentally tore and had to fix. So I just added a little bit more decorations on the back. So, I am going to oh, sorry work on this bag today. I already sewed it because I didn't have small enough bags left. The only bags I had were bigger bags, so I totally took a bigger bag, sewed around it, and cut it the size, you know, cut it around the sewing to make it a little smaller. So you definitely can make your own bags as well, even if you buy those rolls at the dollar store or Walmart with the, you know, that you use to wrap gift baskets with, I think that will work too. Um, so I was curious about stamping on these. Um, the only paint that will stamp, or the only ink that will stamp on the plastic is stays on. Um, so we'll do that. Which one will I use? Let's use this one. And I do have a... Oh, a piece of paper underneath to protect my desk. So it stays on. This is Tim Holtz's um, collection Wildflowers I'm using. Oh, I needed more ink. So if that happens because it takes a little longer to dry, you can remove it with a wet wipe. doesn't dry immediately even it to the stays on actually dries pretty fast on this way faster than the splatters but I mean even splatters on um, on paper takes a while to dry because it's uh, you know a lot of paint on one spot so let's try to put more ink on. See if it works this time. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll flip it over and I can see on this side where I need to press down a little bit more. I think it's good. There. And I do want to clean my stamp. The stays on won't all of it won't come off. It kind of do stain your stamps, but you can clean 
Oh, sorry. I'm off screen. You can clean it up if you do it immediately with a wet wipe. Or there's also a stays on cleaner that I bought years ago. Don't know if it's still on the market. But the wet wipe works good enough. Okay. Stays on. Let's see what else we want to do to decorate this a little bit more. Um, let's add some. So I pre-made the journaling tags that I want to put in here just to save time so it's not such a long video again like yesterday. These are just from my um, from a master board that I made. It fits in there perfectly. Let's cut this a little bit off here. Um, so let's see we can find a stamp Alabama that might be too rare oh, this one is a little bit more pink oh, maybe I should show you what I'm looking at oh that one might work okay that's an option what about this one I think that one blends in too much. Let's use this one. And once again, I will use some um, art litter glue to glue this on here. So just a simple little bag, um, just to decorate it up a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, and then how about we stamp on this again and we'll use Tim Holtz, what's this, Field Notes. I had to buy this off eBay, honestly, because I couldn't find it anywhere during COVID in the shop, so I don't know if this is still available. But as you can see, the ink already dried, this stays on. This is red, Bra Brazil blazing red. I've had these quite a long time, so I don't know if they've changed the names for these. Okay, let's just clean that up as well. And then maybe put a let's stamp something else in that frame. Maybe it's a little too pinkish red no well yeah, let's stamp it this number in there and I'm not gonna decorate it any more than this just because the background is so busy so you can stamp on these bags, you can use acrylic paint to make splatters on the plastic. So this one is just plain, it's, it's very plain. The next thing I wanted to see is if what other kinds of inks will work on this plastic. So let's find a different bag. Oh my goodness. I can't find a bag that fits my pre-made. This one will work, I think. Yes. So once again, I'll just cut the top part off. And then I have a little 
pocket. So I was wondering how um, alcohol inks will work on this. So I have a bit of alcohol ink here and how fat, you know, how long it would take to dry. Let's see. A little bit of brown. What's that? Some gold. Why not? So these are all alcohol inks from Tim Hawks as well. Oh, okay. Just don't want too much gold, okay? And then we'll add some blending solution. Oh, that's a bit much. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. Oops, maybe I am adding too much in here. Move it around on the. I want to add, get that little. Okay, so let's add more. That's the reddish color in there. I think we have too much. Very dark. Maybe more. Where's the blending solution? Blending solution in here. And let's add a little bit of gold. And some on the bottom. Do you want it to go to the bottom? Oh, I think I'm just making, maybe I'll just move it with my finger where I want it. Okay, so I have a lot of blending solution in here. This might take a while. So I'll leave that to dry and um, we'll move on to the next card. So the other thing I was wondering about is if gesso would work on these. I think I'm going to add a little bit more gold in here. I think I have too much blending solution. Anyway, it's just the background. So, um, gesso. Um, excuse me. That's, oh, that's too much. <laughs> Way too much. So the gesso, let's take some, I'm just going to put it on here and just lightly spread it. And as you can see, it definitely works on the plastic. It sticks. Um, I might have a bit much on here, so I'm going to take some of it off just to give it a bit more texture and maybe a little bit more you know that's more transparent and you can see the tag in the back so i just have a pre-made tag here and i'm gonna put it in here just so you can see how the gesso looks behind the tag and we'll wait for the gesso to dry maybe take some of this alcohol ink off i have too much it actually dries pretty fast i tried it before and it did dry fast but i think i added too much blending solution and you cannot dry this with your heat tool it definitely won't work so the gesso is almost dry um, i'm going to take some texture paste Where does this thing open? Okay, 
texture paste and let's put it in there because I do want to color it. Okay, that might be too much again. We'll use it on something else. And let's get a... I'm just going to dry it with this. It's an alcohol ink, but I tried um, Tim Holtz re -inkers as well and worked perfectly fine. just don't have it with me now. I don't know why I forgot about it. Anyway, so here, this, the alcohol inks that I used, this one is Monsoon, the blue one. The kind of reddish one is Current. Oh no, I have it on my table. <laughs> And okay. current the brown one is lat latte and gold is what I used. And so I'm just coloring the gesso uh, the texture paste with an ink reinker. Okay, so by now this is dry, the gesso is dry going to use a stencil let's move this out of the way stencil and just put it on there to give it my bag some texture and color so the textured paste works perfectly on here no problem I kind of thought it might chip off once it's dry but it doesn't. It sticks on here perfectly. I might have wanted this a little darker. Let's use all of the texture paste on here. Might as well. Okay. Oops. So now we just have to wait for this to dry and I will just make sure that you clean your stencils immediately with the texture paste it definitely can ruin your stencils um, ideally you'll be I will soak this in water as well when I'm done making the video just to make sure that I get all the texture paste out in between all those fine detail. So while we wait for the texture paste to dry, we'll start decorating this and I'm going to take some of the ink off that's still wet. And the next thing I was wondering is if I can glue some fabrics on to this, the, fa the plastic and it it does. You don't need fabric tag. I, fabric tag takes forever to dry on this, so I, I would still use the where's my scissors, the um, art glitter glue for this for sure. Let's just throw that in there, and I think let's get rid of some of this. It's too much. So what I'll do is, yeah, it's dry, and I will just put some art glitter glue in spots here to glue my cheesecloth. I, I tea dyed this cheeks cheesecloth on here, okay, and we'll just kind of crumple it on here. I don't want it to be just laying flat. I do want some texture. And then you can see where you need more glue. Just add more. There. Okay. And what will we glue? on here to decorate it a little bit more. Um, excuse me. I need some of those stickers. What did I do with them? Hmm. Okay, let's 
find something else. Sorry, that's my chair. Let's see what we have here. How about this tree? Not probably too much. Let's find something. We can always go with a Tom Holtz person again. Maybe we should, we should do that. Okay, let's see. Tom Holtz. Which one? This little guy. Oh, I love her with the dog. <laughs> so let's pick her. Well, there's the stickers that I was thinking about. Maybe we'll put the rose in the back and her in the front. Maybe the rose on top. No. Rose in there. Okay. And should we add some, a word maybe, but that's trust your soul. I think we will put that there, do like that. Let's just put that there. How about the stamp? Let's see if we have a stamp. Thinking an upright stamp rather than a horizontal stamp. Maybe that one. Oh, I have two of those. Maybe brown. Pinkly paper. <laughs> okay. Let's go with one of those two. Um, maybe the brown one would go better. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll put the sticker on here. Maybe glue that down a little bit more. Um, the sticker. Any stickers? Oh, this one worked out really good today. And we'll put the sticker down here. Oh, maybe, oh, I forgot to add some art glitter glue, so maybe we'll just add some, especially because it's on the cheese cheesecloth. And add some in there, and this needs to be glued down a little bit more as well. Okay, well, fingers crossed that sticker stays there. Let's make more room here. And then let's just ink this one up so it's a little bit more sepia. We need more brown than gray. And again, I'm using antique linen for this stress inks okay. I'm using art glitter glue to glue everything down here there and add this sticker this is on sticker paper so it would be see-through let's see some art glitter glue
Rest your soul. I think this is already nice as well. Don't know if it's our one of our freebies or not. And then we'll add the close by, I think. We'll add the stamp. This isn't too glary, but there is the bag decorated, and I just pre made a cardstock and stamped it with gold on both sides. So you can write on gold both sides because the front is so busy, and then it shows up the background more. So now that our texture base is dry or more or less dry let's decorate this um, let's use some I just want to let's use this flower maybe we add it's very flat we'll add to it to give it more texture and maybe a little bit more color. Excuse me. I'm gonna sneeze, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Um, how will we get this one to the... Let's just glue it down a little bit so it's not as flat. And this is just some silk hydrangea flowers that I bought at the thrift store and I took the flowers apart and now I have lots and lots of blue flowers, silk flowers available for me to use in my junk journals. So this one, we'll just glue this one on top of this one to make it more dimensional, a little bit more glue here. And then I'll glue this onto the bag. Okay. Let's do this. So this there. Oops, come on, glue. Maybe it needs a little bit more glue here. Now it's two dimensional. <laughs> Top of it, let's put the stay on top of it just to keep it there for a little bit. And um, on the bottom, let's add some of this tissue paper just to give it some dimension. Don't need all of it. Put some glue in there as well. Okay. Just wait until it dries. And we'll put some... What about, no, that's too brown. Let's use a piece of small piece of um, book page let's ink this up oh now my anchor is on <laughs> holding the flower down <laughs> let's do that give this a little bit of ink if I had more time, I probably would have added splatters to this as well. There. And how about a... Add 
one maybe a little label maybe that's too blue that will blend in too much I can find something red that would be nice I think Let's add that one to it. Okay. We'll add this red label. I think this is Crazy Fox as well. I want to kind of tuck it underneath that just a little bit. And then let's make a stem for my flower. Draw a stem for the flower. Maybe a little leaf. Okay. And then we'll just add our tag. And maybe this doesn't glare as much if I do this. So that's tag with gesso and texture face. So let's just get all our tags together, clean up a little bit that we've made yesterday and today using polyurethane bags from packaging. So these are the ones, oh where's the other one here, that we made today. So this one and this one and then this one and the other ones we made yesterday was this double-sided one that we just kind of glued on sewed on and oh, sorry, I don't have the other ones here oh here this one and this one and um, I hope this was something new or something that you would try out please let me know if you do leave a comment below if you liked this video and um, subscribe to my channel I am fairly new on YouTube so can use all the uh, support possible to get this going um, and thank you for joining me and I hope you have a good rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!